Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudia Nari and on here we talk about fragrance layering and various fragrances I have in my collection. Since you all are enjoying the Middle Eastern fragrances, I want to keep that going. Today we're going to talk about my fragrances that I have that all are by a brand that begins with the letter N. Um, so it's Nusuk and it's Nubel. So I have two for Nubel and I have two for Nusuk. And I have one, I'm sorry, for Nusuk. If that is something you're interested in, you want to learn about more about Middle Eastern fragrances, then stay tuned. Also, if you are enjoying these type of videos, I have an Instagram account. So meet me on Instagram. On there, I talk about the fragrance I'm wearing for the day. Uh, we just have more fun. It's a little more flexibility. So come on over to Instagram. You're going to enjoy it over there. But let's get into what today's topic is. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's get into it. I happen to love nutty fragrances, so I have another another nutty hazelnut fragrance, and that one is uh these names. The names kind of throw me off, so forgive me if I butcher it. But I want to say is Nabat Al Musk. This one here is, and this is what the bottle looks like. This one here is hazelnut and it's citrus. Those are like what I what I get mostly out of this fragrance. And then there's a rose oil to it. So if you like rosy fragrance, this is one that I would tell you to go get. It has a woodiness to it, but it's not a smoky woodiness. Oh my God, it's just so fresh. It's such a fresh scent. So the hazelnut and that citrus nose is front and center. And then as the heart of the fragrance kind of comes in, you get more of the rose oil, like, the bottle, and I'm sorry, my ring light is probably glaring on it. The bottle is absolutely gorgeous. I've said before, these Middle Eastern lines, they put a lot of work into their packaging. But this one here is a nutty hazelnut fragrance. So if you're looking for something with hazelnut, real nutty, with a touch of freshness from citrus, go with this one right here. Okay, my next fragrance is if you want a woody, more of a woody, smoky scent. This is a fragrance that I'm awfully I reach for in the winter time because it's very nutty. It's very, oh, it's like, it's so cozy. This is a cozy fragrance. And the name of it is Oud Truith, right? So you have to be very um, confident about wearing this one because it does come off a bit strong. But this fragrance, you'll get rose oil, you'll get saffron, you get patchouli, you'll get geranium, and you'll get an ambery musk, like a deep, comforting amber musk. This is not a, um, to me, in my opinion, this is not a summer fragrance or a spring. This is in the winter. In the winter, I think this will perform magically because it sticks to you. It's, I mean, it's just... It's a very strong, rosy fragrance. Um, as I started to get more into Middle Eastern fragrances, I found that they are very heavy in oud or rose. This one here, so that you can see the bottle. Uh, this one here is uh, is rose and oud, basically. That is the, the heart of the fragrance. That is the fragrance. Um, if any of the notes that has popped up is something that you would be interested in, then I say go get it. Okay, my next one that I have from Nobel is going to be Camis El Uns, right? And I want to say this fragrance uh, probably is marketed to men. But again, you know, if you follow my channel, you know that I don't, I don't really care about the marketing. Uh, but I will tell you that it starts off with aldehydes. Um, aldehydes, palm, raspberry, and coconut. So it's a, it's like a burst of fragrance it hits you fresh in your face the violet leaves come in that's in the opening the uh as it starts to begin to dry down you'll get more jasmine you'll get some more geranium it's iris um and iris is not front and center so please don't think that this is going to pull off as a powdery scent the iris in this fragrance pulls off more like a fresh clean fresh off the shower scent but it's sticking to you to my nose, I want to say that this is, if you like light blue, intense, 
This is light blue intense on steroids. <laughs> That's what this one is. This is my, my reach when I want to smell fresh. Like I want to run off and I just want to have a little fragrance on me, not too overbearing, not offensive, not in your face, but to have a note, have a smell to you, then I go with this one here. I think all this right. one is. Thank you for hanging on into our discussion. We talked about all the fragrances that begin with N or the, the line that was N and uh, had the letter N in it. And the reason why I put those two together is because I only had two of one, I had only two Nabels and I only had one Nasuk. But they are both gorgeous scents. Um, and I think that I would tell you, dive into Middle Eastern. I think you would truly enjoy it. It gives you opportunity to get the more seductive scents without paying the seductive price. Don't let, because it is often a clone or a dupe of a major fragrance, tune you away. You'll probably find multiple fragrances that you would enjoy. Try it. Or hang on in and keep watching my Middle Eastern fragrances and I would be the one to try it and tell you about it and then you can see if it's something that you're interested in. I truly enjoyed the opportunity to have to discuss my collection with you all. It's always been so much fun. Stay on in and hang on here with me and I'm going to see you in the next video.